Let's take a look at this radical equation. We get square root of x plus 4 is equal to 3 plus square root of x plus 1. Now our steps say to get a radical by itself. It doesn't matter which one. Um, I notice that uh, there's already a radical by itself on the left side. So step two, score both sides. Well, actually, raise both sides to a power equal to your index, which these are square roots, so it'd be two. So score both sides. Now, when your index matches power you're raising to, they cancel each other away. So this gives us x plus four. Can't do the same thing on the right side though because of the plus here. So we have to rewrite this as three plus square root of x plus one times three plus square root of x plus one. Now three times three is nine. Three times the square root of x plus one is three square root of x plus one. Square root of x plus one times three is three square root of x plus one. And square root of x plus one times square root of x plus one is x plus one. Now I'm going to rearrange uh, the right side and, and combine together what's what's the same. So I'll put the x first. Nine plus one is ten. Three square root of x plus one plus three square root of x plus one is six square root of x plus one. Okay. Now we're down to step three. It says if you have more radicals, go back to step number one. Well, we'll go back to step number one. Step number one says get a radical by itself. So I'm going to take the x and a 10, move them over to the left side. So I got x minus x plus 4 minus 10 is equal to 6 square root of x plus 1. x minus x drops away. 4 minus 6 is negative 6 equals 6 square root of x plus 1. We still don't have the radical quite by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And we get negative 1 is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Well, now we go to step 2. Step 2 says raise both sides to a power equal to the index. This is, again, a square root, so the index is 2. So we'll score both sides. Negative 1 squared is 1. Uh, when your index matches the power you're raising to, they cancel each other, so that gives me x plus 1. Uh, solve for x now. There's no more radicals, so take the 1 over, and we end up with x equals 0. Maybe. Remember, we have to check it. Um, 0 plus 4 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. If I put uh, 0 over here, 0 plus 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1, so that's 3 plus 1, which is 4. So I'd have 2 is equal to 4, so this does not check. And since there's no answers, our answer is no solution.